the EC2 extensively. That's what you mentioned, correct? So yep. I have deployed an application on my EC2, correct? And uh, my EC2 instance is performing very slow. Like whenever I'm trying to log in, it's very slow. So how will you troubleshoot this particular issue? Uh, so if it is a EC2 mission, is a Linux mission. Okay, let's yes. say if it is a Linux yeah. mission. Uh, I'll use some of the tools uh, which is available on the Linux, uh, Linux mission. Those are like top, htop, or uh, ps minus here. So yeah, based based on these tools, I will just uh, verify uh, which is the service consuming uh, more CPU and memory. Accordingly, I will act on it. If it is a, okay, let's say one service is consuming more CPU and memory. I'll check if the service why why uh, why the service is taking more cpu and things accordingly i will if needed i will kill the service by using the kill command and if needed i can restart the service also based on the application okay i have to launch a public ec2 machine how will you okay. uh, launch or uh, what's the major difference between the public and private uh, ec2 instances uh basically public instance, I mean EC2 instance, uh, which is exposed to the internet through the internet gateway, where we have both public IP and private IP. But when it comes to private instances, you will be having only private, where it sits on private subnets, where we don't have the internet exposure through the internet gateway. Okay. So how do you ensure that uh, any of your uh, EC2 instance will become uh, public or the private? Like you talked about the subnets, correct? So how will you ensure yeah. or how will you differentiate? So I have to create the infrastructure from the scratch. I have to launch okay. the VPC and within VPC only you can launch the EC2 instance as well. So how will you make one subnet as a public, another subnet uh, as a private and then uh, your yeah. uh, EC2 going forward? Yeah, basically, as you know, uh, I mean, using the internet gateway, uh, we will be I mean, we will be attaching the internet gateway to the VPC to allow the internet to the VPC by right. configuring the route tables, right? So in the route table, we will be adding the route for the internet gateway. So what are the routes? I mean, what are the subnets that are at attached to the route table? Those will be configured as a public where we can, those subnets will accept the public, uh, I mean, internet. Those we are which are not associated with the route table. Yeah, those uh, always sits on the private. They be can't access through the internet. Okay, so if you are experiencing any uh, storage related issue on your EC2 machine, the Linux server, how will you fix that storage issue? Uh, if it is an EC2 machine, uh, yeah, EBS volumes, right? Mm -hmm. So where my EBS volume is not, does not, I mean, is not having enough capacity, uh, then I will increase the volume size on the EB, I mean, uh, EBS volume. So once EBS volume capacity is increased, I will be logging to the EC2 instance. I will resize that particular mount that I re, uh, you know uh, increase the volume on the uh, EBS volume. Right? So that is how I can increase that volume if it is crossing the threshold. Yeah. If you have to monitor the thresholds for the CPU for the memory of the EC2 instances, how will you monitor this? Uh, in my project, uh, we will be using Cloud CloudWatch. Uh, to monitor the complete logs, uh, if it is a CPU metrics or uh, memory metrics, anything mm -hmm. uh, that that okay, uh, like you know, internet latency throughput. So these are the some of the metrics that we, uh, you know, daily monitor using the CloudWatch tool from the AWS. Okay, okay, got it. it all so things. how what do you understand by this CloudWatch lo log and CloudWatch events? Uh, CloudWatch logs it will collect. I mean, uh, whenever you configure the Cloud watch for any EC2 instance, right? It will keep on monitor the metrics from the EC2 instance. Uh, sorry, what is the question? Uh, what is the Cloud watch log and Cloud watch events? Cloud watch events. Let's say uh, if you configure some alarms, right, on the Cloud watch. If something, okay, so you, you configure some alarm uh, with one of the EC2 instances, CPU is crossing 80%, then you should, uh, then there should be event should be triggered through SNS uh, service. So that is the difference between Cloud watch logs and alarms. I mean the event. Okay. Have